Uh, yesterday, a double rapist was sent into a women's prison, and for the legal reasons you've cited, I'll need to be careful about what I say. But this scenario is exactly what I tried to stop during the passage of Nicola Sturgeon's Gender Recognition Reform Bill. But I was voted down by the narrowest of margins. And even with the flawed bill in limbo, violent criminals are exploiting the system and putting vulnerable women at risk. So can the Cabinet Secretary tell me why his SNP government think that any rapist should be allowed inside a women's prison? Cabinet Secretary. Well, of course, the uh, Gender Recognition Reform Scotland Bill, had it not been stopped by another government uh, completely wrongly, would not have changes, changed the SBS's approach to trans prisoners, which is not dependent on the possession of a GRC. Possession of a gender recognition certificate will continue to have a minimal impact on how SBS manage transgender people. Their process is one based on the assessment of risk. I think that's the important thing to do. It's the assessment of risk... It's the assessment of risk for the individual, the assessment of risk for other prisoners, the assessment of risk for the, for the prison staff as well. They have a tremendous track record in dealing with managing that risk. I would suggest they are far more expert in assessing that risk and dealing with it than any of us here in this chamber. I also point out this morning I visited SPS to discuss their management of risks in relation to serious and organised crime. The SPS is a fantastic organisation which deals with managing risks every day of the week. They have a great trans record in relation to trans prisoners, and I have faith in their ability to evolve their policy to continue that track record.